Hey, what's up guys? It's Fish here and welcome back to some more Seven Kingdoms Total War. I am joined by the man himself, Pixel Edited Apollo. Hey, what's up? And you are playing as House Mandalay, one of my favorite factions, and you are on a revenge path to kind of, you know, get penance for when the Reach kicked you out of the lands and the North took them in. So it should be a pretty nice revenge battle today. Yeah, I'm pretty excited for this one. Uh, the, this map looks fantastic. We got two really powerful factions, especially your faction. But yeah, I think it's going to come down to the wire and it's going to be a good old battle. Yeah, it should be really, really good. And again, one of the things I love about this mod is the pictures above the units. It just makes it so epic. You know, you can really see what units are holding what streets. And I think it really adds so much. I really wish more mods would add this in to their, to their battles. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. For sure. So cool, let's go ahead and run through the army comps. We'll start off with House Mandalay. All right, cool, yeah. So in the front lines, I've got some crossbows mixed in with some longbows. So I'll kind oh, of- damn. Are you gonna be using them crossbows uh, aggressively? <laughs> no, no, no. I'll be sure to uh, use them more cinematically, I guess. Is oh, okay. a better way to put it. Uh, and I then, mean, don't don't do that on my account. Feel free to. Uh, no, I mean, I don't want I don't want to make you salty. Okay, that's that's the last thing I want to do. And the secondary line, I've got melee. This is a very strong. This is like my heavy melee. I absolutely love the logos. The, the logos. The you know the sigil. Just really really cool stuff. And also they've got like a fish scale armor. Looks very awesome. Uh, so yeah, that's my guardsman, and then right behind the guardsman, I have some men at arms. It's pretty much the same thing, but not quite as good. Uh, but they're still very solid, so they should be able to hold the line. Love the uniforms, just love everything about this faction. I understand why it's one of your favorites. And then way over here, I've got some guardsmen with spears, so nice spear forces. And then here is my general, which is Wyman Manderley. So where's there? Yeah, it is. Wyman Manderley. Why, yeah. So yeah, he's a little bit skinny. He's a little bit skinny in in this mod <laughs> and in the TV show. In the books, he's supposed to be quite a hefty bloke. <laughs> That's cool. Because people think he's really stupid because he's so fat, and he's actually quite a crafty, crafty man. That's cool. I have an onager. I have uh, some guardsman lancer cav. I am also bringing some pikes because I wanted to bring a little of everything, and I'm so glad I brought the pikes because look at them. They look amazing. Those shields are so cool. And then way in the... F well, I believe that's everything, so... Uh, yeah. Oh, what? What? No, go ahead. No, Finish. no, no. That's it. Oh, I've got, somewhere? I've got spears. I got men at arm spears, but yeah, that's, that's everything. So. Okay. I felt like you have, you brought no, some no, like no. really super, like you bought the Balrog and you just didn't want to <laughs> Balrog, that would be amazing. Cool. So let's go ahead and start off with my front line at the kind of outer entrances of the city itself. I have some old town levies. These are obviously from old town. I kind of took a mix of the reach I've got. Uh, I've got some old town units or some high tower units, sorry, and I've also got some uh, Randall Tali infantry as well, along with the Reach infantry. So then I've got some Horn Hill levies. These are obviously from House Tali. Then as we go back, my archer force is consisting of these men at arms longbows. I'm going to rely on these guys to take out your missile advantage and do as much damage as possible. Then as we continue to go back, we have the beautiful looking Reach Heavy Infantry. These Guardsmen are again just a spectacular unit. Such a, so like so close to what the show did. They really do look great. Then as we continue to go back, I have my own Catapult. I also have some Pikemen from House Re. Is this House Tyrell? Yeah, this is House Tyrell Pikemen. Then we also have some more Randall Tarly Infantry there. Uh, then as we continue to go back, we have some of our, our high tower heavy guardsmen. These guys are again looking great. Very, very kind of uh, crusadery. We continue to go back. We have some more infantry. And then I also have Mace Tyrell up here, who again looks you know quite slim compared to what he does in the show. But again, the face is just spot on. <laughs> really, really good. So yeah, let's see. You ready to get yeah, this, uh, I'm ready. this battle underway? Unfortunately, I can't see most of your armies. So I'm, I'm excited to see them while I slaughter them. So. Oh yeah, you, you hope so. I'm uh, afraid to tell you that's not how it's going to go down actually. We'll see. We'll see about that. Oh, there we go. Now I can see more of your men. Look at that. Nice. So your archer force is going to be getting closer and closer. I really just got to hope that I can kind of, kind of avoid dying from these missiles because they're going to obviously be unleashing hell upon me. And I just have to try my best to hold firm. Luckily, I have the Attila towers, which are always super OP. Oh yeah, that's yeah. Especially I in mean, this you can mod. Use your catapult. 
Yeah, you can use your catapult to, to take them out a bit, so maybe That's destroy true. them. Because I think it only takes one or two shots for the catapult to take them down if they all hit. So that could be a really easy way of doing it. Moving up some some levees, I see. Yeah, just, you know, trying to scare up your, your archers. Maybe I can force them back a little bit. And if you decide to throw any cavalry at me, I can then change all my archer fire to hitting your cavalry. So, I you know. <laughs> well, thanks uh, for being honest with your strategy. Yeah, I mean, you know, maybe that's a double bluff. Maybe if you do charge me with cavalry, that's bad for me. And I'm yeah, to maybe you just, that. yeah. Maybe it's a double bluff. Or maybe it's even a triple bluff. And I'm saying that to then make you think. Who knows? Okay, now I get some free shots on yours, you just have to run away. You're psyching me out, man. I just can't take I know. this. You don't know what to do. God, it's like raining fire on me. But yeah, because you've got quite lightly armored units. Um, I'm pretty effective at like at hitting them. Old town levies. Yeah, oh nice. I'm getting a good charge off on your on your men here. I'm I'm happy with that. What? I got away. Oh, did you? Yeah. Did you? Yes. Are you looking in the center? I see that. <laughs> it's totally part of my strategy. Huh, <laughs> you fell okay. for it, fool. Okay, my mistake. Yeah. My mistake. You think you have the high ground? I do need to go and reinforce this area a little bit, though, because there's a pretty open way to my archers. Flee, you fools! Well, the archer fire is coming in pretty thick and fast, though. What are yeah. you sending up? You're sending up the men at arms. Ooh. Some yep. medium tier infantry. Yeah, eh? you know, I'm sending up the weaker troops first. I just realized my men are not on fire at will, so. Oh, that would probably help out. Yeah, that would help well. out a little bit, you know. Just, just a tiny bit. Just a bit. little bit. I don't oh, know. The oh, oh, we got an exchange of onagers. That was awesome. <laughs> oh, you got some big hits off her, my Boom. man. That was not too good. I'm actually going to hold off on, on shooting my, my onager thing. I'm going to save him for a better... A better, better situation. Yeah. Because it looks, by the looks of it, you don't get a lot of ammunition in this, so I do want to do want to hold off my ammunition a little bit. Yeah, the levee's obviously getting destroyed. But this tune of archers already run out of ammunition. Wow. You're coming up with a lot of soldiers now. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of glad you're only attacking from one one area. One angle. I can take that. Yeah. Ooh, oh, artillery hits there. On, on oh man, arches. that was a great hit. That's what we live for right there. Yeah, but I'm killing a lot of these crossbows and stuff, so. That's it's true. Just looking okay. You're doing all right, man. I'm letting you win. Oh yeah, no. Well, I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> I just gotta burn down your damn village. Yeah, I mean, that does obviously start to tick in a tiller when you do more settlement damage. Yeah, yeah. It really does start to rack up some kills. Uh, but I'm, I'm okay. If you're not going to come around the flanks, I can deploy more men to the front and I'll oh, take this battle. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, Jackie. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, some huge casual <laughs> hits again. I'm not a fan of that, unfortunately. Nice. Yes. Burn them down. Kill the bastards. Again, I'll just continue to hold off with my missiles. It's fine. My catapult will have a pretty hefty amount of ammunition. Let's see how much ammo? I've got about half ammo with my onager, so yeah, I gotta try and to be wise. I do have wise. some pikes left as well, so you have to be careful for that. Yes, yes, indeed. I like this so much more than the uh, the ambush battle we did, because in this battle it's quite like kind of like quite chill, and you know, it's very more slow paced compared to the other engagement. Yeah, we don't have to do slow motion the entire time. <laughs> yeah, you know, you can just take it slow and and really enjoy. It yeah, that's why more, I like you know, siege battles, just like because you can sit back and really enjoy the fight while commanding it, you know. Oh yeah, for sure, and you can get new nice close ups and stuff without having to worry too much. Oh, you are burning this city down, so... Yep. Take the city! Oh, your infantry's pushing in now, are they? Okay, 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 I'll... I'll prepare. Oh, the cavalry's coming in! Maybe. Oh, the barricade! Oh, the fire. barricade! Oh, fire. <laughs> what is going on there? Oh, God, you are running through everywhere now. Don't worry, I have plenty of men to send. 
My archers can fall back. The nice thing is as well, but you haven't got your, your troops that close to the battle, so it's going to take you a little while to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. ...to move them up. So I've got Don't time to... Don't worry about your army, okay? Hey, I'm just, you know, playing some mind games. Don't mind me. That has, however, given me a good opportunity to do something. Hmm. So I'm going to use that to the best of my ability. Good luck. Thank you. I think I'll need it. Ooh. Push forward, man. I'm oh, nice. I got a pretty big hit off on some of your infantry back here. <laughs> we'll zoom in and get some nice close-ups as we see your men trying to push forward. I am reinforcing my lines as best I can. I also got a pretty nice flank off at your men at arms because the barricade got destroyed, which allowed me to then push forward. And now I'm counter-flanking. Yeah, you're counter-flanking, but I'm hoping I've got the damage done. Holy crap, dude, your red beards. Do you see the men with the red beards? Oh, what, the house Tali? Yeah. The house Tali? Uh, I think so. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the ones that were flanking. Yeah, I can't see their red beards. I don't know. Maybe it's just a glitch or something. They're like <laughs> bright red, like Ronald McDonald red. Nice. Your artillery is completely out of ammunition now. Nope. <gasps> Damn it. Oh, Jesus. That did so much damage. Yeah, you just need to get stuck in, I think. Yeah, I can't but sit back. Can. A little cav battle going on out there. <laughs> yeah, I did not see that until just a second ago. <laughs> <laughs> I think things are going okay for me so far. Yeah, I mean... I'm feeling really low-key confident. Let's go with a balance of power. So, you've definitely managed to cut down my man advantage. That's for sure, but... You know, it's we're evening out because I, I, you got what twenty in, until it sieges. You get twenty five percent more men than the defenders, or twenty five percent more money, um, more money, yeah, more cash, cash money than the, the than the defenders do. But I just went ahead and spammed out loads of crappy units, so you have like higher quality, but I've got the quantity. Yeah, and to be fair, like the balance of power is pretty even at the start of the battle, so. Uh, I love the Lancer Cavalry, how they have like tridents instead of, uh, instead of like spears, kind of fits the, the theme. Yeah, for sure. Nice, I'll take that, pushing back one of the flanks there. Yeah, take it, dude. My men keep breaking and coming back. You teach them some respect. Burn the city down. Discipline. Yeah, what's it at? Seven percent. So I'm currently getting minus one mar one melee attack and minus yeah, one defense. Yeah, not that so it's not great. Really a lot now. No. If you can continue to spread the fire, you know, into another section, then it really does rack up pretty quick. Everybody use fire ammo. So I've got a lot more of my elite units going into the fight now. Yeah, this is going to be the true test of uh, my infantry line. Yep. The, more, the more you shove them in, the harder it's going to be for me to, to really do anything. Because I'm, I'm pretty much non-existent on missiles anymore. How did you catch me? I started running so long ago. <laughs> I don't know. I don't understand how that happened. I started running away from your cavalry like a good 10 seconds before you you uh, were even close to me. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, that's not Steve. Sneaky. My men should have just been faster. I guess because they're probably a heavier unit, maybe. So they're slower. That might be why. That might be why. Um, speed. 
they the same speed, so I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes it happens, you know? Maybe I just messed up and told them to walk or something. Maybe you're just bad. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Come on, start Push. pushing some more men in so I can use my artillery. No, you, you, no. I'm pushing in more men though, don't you worry. Good, because this is yeah. going to start getting uh, pretty shaky now that I don't have uh, have any cavalry left. I was really banking on that cavalry to help me out. Yeah, I'm actually surprised that my army was able to, uh, or my cav was able to defeat yours. I just didn't really do much, unfortunately. But hopefully, the infantry will make up for that. Lancers! It's going to be up to you now to, to really get stuck in uh, with your infantry and use that cavalry effectively. Oh my god, I just got such a good hit off on your infantry there. Uh, Killed so many of them. That artillery is just disgusting. Getting a charge back here as well. The back of your spearmen. This should go, hopefully go in my favor. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Ooh, there's so much going on. Yeah, it's quite a quite a fast engagement. God, that did you just cavalry charge me there? Yeah. You annihilated that unit. Wow. I gotta I gotta try to take out these arrow towers. Oh yeah, because they're gonna start really doing some damage to you. All right. Come on, archers. I see you got some. I still have a few light infantry men left as well. Some pikes. Yeah, you have to really. I think because you don't have much infantry left, do you? Um, no, I, I got a good amount. Come on, break them. There we go. Pretty much got everywhere oh, wow. blockaded though, so it's gonna be quite hard for you to, to take from there. Oh yeah, so yeah, I've actually lost most of my infantry. Yeah, the artillery <laughs> does do so much damage. Yeah, the artillery is pretty rough. Obviously, you had as much as I did, so. I mean, if you use your cavalry well, I think you've easily got this. I wouldn't say easily. <laughs> I mean, balance of power begs to differ. Come on, damn it. This mo there we go. Oh, oh, the artillery hits are disgusting. I guess the balance of power doesn't take into uh, oh, account oh the artillery. God. Yeah, yeah. God, that's nasty. Thankfully, you're almost out, though. Yeah, I've got like one more shot left, which I guess I'll <laughs> save save for a money shot but I mean you pushed me completely back now as well so no, I have not got any I have not got anywhere else to to really hide but luckily you don't have any missiles yet? uh I've got a few do they have any ammunition though um yeah is it? I can't see them oh wait maybe you're right no I've got one unit that has ammo that's oh, it though. Just, right. Yeah, yeah, just like two shots left. I mean, better use them, use them well. Goals and us down to the last, the last couple battles right now. The street fighting is almost completely over. Oh yeah, you've got your elites though. Oh, cavalry charge is brutal. You just run through these archers. They do not stand a chance. Yeah, my calves actually, you were right. My calves are doing pretty well. That's. Yeah, really, really well. Kind of surprising. That's fine. You have to move in your infantry now. Yeah. And I think I'll be doing an okay job at, at holding that off a little bit, so. I've still got one weak shot left as well, the artillery. So maybe if I can get a good shot off with these bad boys. Like one one big money shot could be the difference between a victory 
and defeat here. And here it comes. Oh, come on. No. Oh, that was pretty good. I, I hit a decent amount of horses there. Yeah, you got a couple. I'm happy with that. I, didn't, I wasn't even sure what unit you were going for. I was just like, like so <laughs> focused right now. I'm just like. I missed. I think I saw my ammunition done now. Thank God. Oh, wait, no, there's one more. There's one more. Oh. Oh, it's way off. Burn your yeah, own city. No. Yeah, I'm literally just set ablaze my own city. Wow. Uh, that's going to that's gonna set fire to that entire section of the fortress as well. Unfortunately, I wanted to burn more of your buildings, but just couldn't do it. Yeah. I think in default, Tilly, you get a lot more ammunition. So. All right, here we go. Final assault. I mean, you don't really have a lot left. I don't. Neither do I. Uh, manpower wise, how's it looking for both of us? Oh, oh my god. You know how close it oh is? Oh my it's god, two it's two. Men. two. I have two more men. GG. Right um, that's pretty insane. GG. Don't worry, House High Tower have the main entrance. We've got House Tyrell on the far left entrance. Being ambushed. I don't think I'm ambushing you anyway. What the hell? Military advisor's just like, hey, watch this. We're being ambushed. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna fuck what with you. What a jerk. <laughs> Alright, yeah. How many archers do you have, though? None. I have no missiles left. Oh, okay. So that's, yeah. That's Sorry. that's a big deal. Cause so this is literally just a melee grind now to the bitter end. A good, more, like 200 of my men are archers, so... Oh, oh, okay. That's all right. I've got, I've got a hundred men of archers, but they have no ammunition. Left. Oh, okay. All right. And obviously a bunch of artillery crew people as well. All right, men. I'm going to rest them up. Oh, God, you're going super try hard. I, hey, we want a close battle, right? Yeah, close. for sure. It would be much better than the first one we did. Oh, yeah. The first one, we went on for five minutes, but that's because it was like an ambush battle, so... Yeah, ambush battles you know. are always quick, yeah. The armies are, like, literally right next to each other, so... Yeah, they just charge in, and it's just a slog to the bitter end. There's no escape. Well, slog's the wrong word. It's just literally no escape. All right. I'm almost ready to advance. Don't you worry. Yeah, don't worry. I'm looking at my, my men, my bloodied units of House High Tower. <laughs> Oh man, this is gonna be intense. I'm really, I, I'm counting on my pikes here. That's what it's yeah, gonna come down to. Oh, you have pikes still? That's yeah, strange. untouched. Untouched, oh. Virgin great. pikes. <laughs> and you, I might just decide to keep backing out from engaging them, I think. All right. I mean, like, cavalry is a thing which really scares me. Yeah. I don't think I can really deal with as much cavalry as you have, but I guess we'll see. I've got to use my general aggressively, too. Yeah, I guess he does make up for quite a big portion of soldiers. Okay, here we go. Here we go, indeed. I wonder how bad this is going to be for me. I don't know. I have a feeling you're going to be able to hold. In, in these situations in siege battles where, like, I mean, it's even. JK, JK. Oh, uh, <laughs> you sly dog, you. I used I an ability you... too. Oh, really? We'll stay I used ability. hold the line, yeah. <laughs> oh. You running? Yeah, I'm opening up the the ways I can attack you. Oh yeah, okay. Open up those ways, man. Don't worry, that's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> this way I can actually get around the flanks and stuff a bit more effectively. God, you have so many units left. There's no way. Cavalry charge, though. That didn't do. Sh that didn't do anything. 
I mean, he killed 11 men, but it's because these are elite soldiers, so they can yeah. form shield wall, whereas the other infantry you ran into can't form shield wall, so they miss out on, like, a huge buff. <sighs> I'm just, like... I'm so lost in what I should do. I mean, what can you do? I don't know. Against such reckless hate. Against such reckless hate, yeah. It's all about timing, really. Yeah, I mean, that charge did pretty good. Killed a load of men. Alright. Here we go. Oh my god, Pikes, man, it's so <laughs> broken. Go, Pikes, go. You are the savior of the broken. I literally just need to retreat here, I think. Yeah, fall back. There's nothing I can do against the Pikes. Try and push out maybe elsewhere. I need to make a break like elsewhere to really to do anything. And just hope I can try and get a good charge off somewhere. Charge! Don't put them pikes down, or oh, the pikes just came down in time. I lose so many men. Come on, pikes! That's the thing, though. The pikes now they're surrounded should just be dying. Oh, crap. Come on, reinforcements. Battle is super close. All my men are actually pretty healthy as well, morale-wise. But you're pushing up a lot of infantry here now. Come on, pikes are dying. We need to quickly finish them up, and if I can win on this right flank as well, that could be huge. But I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to break forward in time, because I'm losing men so quickly. Oh. Surround! Ah, uh, yeah, I think you broke my pikes. Killed one of the units, he's got plenty more though. Come on. You killed his cavalry. Oh, you're putting your general in there. Yeah, I need to kill your cavalry. Like, it's my only hope. This is actually a super close battle. This is intense as hell. Going down to the wire, you have what? You still have 38 pikemen left, and I imagine they are just killing so many of my men. Mace did manage to get out of there, which is good. You coward. Just whoever holds firm to the, to the end. Come on, kill these guys. <laughs> it's actually turned out to be such a close battle. I know, wow. this is so intense. This is going to go down to the last couple men. Let's continue to hold though. If our men could just keep uh, obviously you're moving in your general there, which is fine with me. Nope, nope, that didn't work out. Just need your general to break, and if your general can break, then maybe I can go ahead and just turn around all my MP and then just, you know, swoop round the back of him and, and take him out. 
Because if your general dies, it's over. But obviously, same for me as well. I mean, it's looking pretty good for you. I don't know, whoa! Some of your men just routed. Oh no! Your front lines are routing a little bit. I just need the pikes to die. The pikes die, it'll be over. You cowards! They shattered too. That's so good for me. Start moving men around the side. You want to throw in your general? Feel free. I don't know. I mean, it's a last-ditch effort. I think you might have to. I, uh, I think so. Battle is still close. I don't know, but like, because yeah, you could easily break through there. But it's kind of a hard charge because you have to charge through your own men as well. So it's still really, really difficult. Oh, you got some men breaking. Yeah, I don't know. This literally go down to whoever's general dies. I think. Yep. Throwing in the generals. There we go. So I'm going to push up some more of my men and charge in and route. Come I think on. I've got enough. No. Yeah, yes. you've got this. You've got this. Yes. I think I have enough to. Uh, oh my yeah. god. That was so close. I'm actually going to pull back Mace and I'm going to dismount him and make him fight like an I don't know. Person. I don't know, dude. Because you've got men coming around all these sides now as well. Uh, we're oh all just charging God. one last time. What a battle, dude. This is, yeah, this that is went a good down one. To the wire. You got some men chasing mine as well. How yeah, many I men see. are left in this, in this battle? Oh, Not dude, it's so close. 200. Yeah, there's literally like 40 men. I'm going to try and find Mace on the battlefield. Where I don't, is he? This is so close. You can tell where Mace is because he has some like feathers coming off Ted. Come on, I just gotta kill your general. Dude, I still think you can win this one. You look mean, at that unit, you have guardsmen. Speed. Yeah, but if they don't get here in time, because you just surrounded me there as well. But yeah, if they get up here, and I can get, oh, I just round one of your units. But I think because you oh. outflanked me, that's a huge no, no. battle. Balance of power is looking good for you as well. Do you have this guardsman unit to turn? Yeah, but it's so close that anything can change. Yeah, it's whether my general can survive whilst his guardsman unit moves up. Come on, kill the bastard! I don't know where Mace is. I can't see him. I can't see his. his fe oh, I can see him. I can see him. He's pretty secure right now. He's towards the back of the line, on the left, like left, looking towards uh, where my guardsman has just come in. All right, so our generals are surrounded, but Mace is down to like hardly any men. Second wind. Come on, Mace is down to 50, your general. Wyman is down to what? <laughs> Only 110. He's 110, yeah. That's looking so good. Oh, come on, kill the damn yeah, general. You slaughtered my dudes when you came out with your guardsman spear. Oh, that was a wonderful battle. Oh, man. It's, I, mean, I still, I'm not counting. Dude, I'm, this is not over until a general Mace, dies. Mace is surrounded by like five dudes. Yeah, there you go, Mace just died. Oh, there we go, okay. Oh, what a close battle. Wow, that was great. That was, yeah, that was awesome, dude. I really enjoyed that one. That's got me pumped for Season 7 as well. That's going to... Well, I can't wait for Season 7 <laughs> yeah. action now. Yeah. Oh, man. See, see the battles they're going to do and stuff. Yeah, yeah. We can recreate them in this game. Oh, yeah, for sure. Because he did actually show on Twitter a picture of a white, like, a, a, you know, the, the zombies in Game of Thrones, but he said they just act like normal Tiller stuff, so there's no real point putting oh, them yeah, in. Oh, yeah, yeah. But that would still be cool in my Yeah, opinion, it would, you know? yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, woof, what a battle to the end. I thought House you had Mandley. that one. Yeah, I mean, it could have gone either way. House Mandley definitely got their revenge that day for a heavy, heavy cost. Yeah, I think, um, I think my Cav won it. Oh, look how many kills they got, yeah. yeah. 368, Three. 300s, 152. And obviously Wyman himself getting 200, very, very nice. Yeah, my Pike's surprisingly not doing too well. I mean, one got 125, but really the heart of my kills was, was my Cav and my infantry, the Guardsmen, the melee. Oh, oh my God, 341. <sighs> I think it's because I had a lot of weaker infantry. You know, like yeah. if you look at the top, the, the levies, you know, were fighting the guards straight off the bat. Um, so they just cut them down. But look at my catapult. Woo! Yeah, I was just about to say that. Oh, nearly 500 kills. So That's pretty disgusting. God. My archer is amazing. Well, one of my crossbows got 332 kills, but 
Other than that, my archers didn't do amazing, which is cool to see because I, I kind of hate it when archers rack up, you know, hundreds of yeah, kills. I mean, yeah. me and you are very much the, the melee melee type of guys where we just, you know, want yeah. to see our units just fighting all day if we could you know, in a street battle, just back and forth, no one really moving. Absolutely. You know, that's, what I, that's what we would like to see. Also, my general, surprisingly, 200 kills for... He was only in the fight for, you know, the last couple minutes, so that's also yeah, pretty good. 200 very important kills. Yeah. yeah. So cool, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you want to see more Seven Kingdoms, then do let us know in the comments down below, and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.